Okay, Bengal Governor Jagdeep Dhankar is in New Delhi. Uh, he's probably going to be meeting the Home Minister, possibly even the Prime Minister. The government left New Delhi last evening after kicking up a huge storm by going public with a stern letter to Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee on allegations of post-poll violence. The Home Department of the state tweeted its outrage late last night, accusing the Governor of fabricating allegations of such violence. Now, in his letter, the governor has called the post-poll violence in Bengal the worst since independence. The Bengal government said that the violence took place under the EC's watch. Let's go right across to my colleague Manideepa, checking the details of the story. Manideepa, the war between the governor and the chief minister has only intensified. Now, uh, interesting timing because the governor is in Delhi today. Uh, that's right. And uh, as of now, we still don't know what exactly his program is. He's here from last night till 18th of June. So that is uh, at least a full two days that he'll be in the capital. Uh, is he likely to meet uh, the uh, Home Minister? Uh, is he likely to meet the Prime Minister? Speculation is yes, though there is no confirmation. And what would the meetings be about? Um, clearly, given the way he released his letter to the Chief Minister publicly uh, last uh, afternoon, uh, indication is that the contents of that letter uh, may be part of his discussions uh, with whoever he meets in Delhi. And the contents are not not flattering to Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. Uh, but late last evening, the Home Department of West Bengal again put out the series of five tweets in which it attacked the governor, saying that he had fabricated the contents and uh, that you know the way he had released them to the public was shocking. Uh, the whole this latest round of war between the governor and the chief minister had begun on the 5th of May, the day Mamta Banerjee was sworn in as chief minister for the third time. At the oath-taking ceremony, uh, Mamta Banerjee, after taking the oath, had said a few words. The governor had uh, you know chimed in. He had taken the mic, uh, spoken about how um, uh, instead of just COVID, Mamta Banerjee should also focus on post-poll violence. Mamta Banerjee had retorted to that and this war has been snowballing and um, you know it could uh, turn into something much bigger than we expect. There is of course the West Bengal government which you know privately perhaps wants the governor out of Bengal but he has another two-year tenure and uh, this war uh, seems unlikely to settle down just yet.